there will be time in your flutter app development life cycle when you have to use multiple versions of flutter on same development machine and when you google how to do it you will get fvm as an option well i tried fvm on windows but it didn't work for me so i tried a more simple way by creating alias following this method you don't have to make any changes to existing version of flutter so let's see what are the steps to do it so first thing we have to do is get the list of archives of different flutter version So here is a list of old versions of Flutter and uh, we can download any Flutter version that we need. If you need the latest version then you can go for the latest version as well. So I think the latest version is 3.19.2. Yes, so latest version is 3.19.2. So let's go for the latest version. So we are downloading for Windows OS. This complete process is for Windows OS. Similar steps will work in other OS as well, but uh, let's see how things work in windows and what are the steps needed for windows so i am downloading 3.19.2 flutter version sdk so the size of this sdk zip is 954 mb and the download is almost complete yes the download is complete now so let's open the directory in which the file has been downloaded and the directory is the downloads directory but i need this in some other directory where i keep my other flutter sdk so i will cut this file here and i will go to the d drive and i have my previous flutter version sdk uh, in this directory in this uh, drive so okay this is the this is the dev directory where my previous SDK is there so I would keep the new SDK uh, here only so let's paste it here extract all the files in this zip and let's follow the steps once this zip file is completely extracted So file extraction is complete and we can see that just below the flutter directory there is a new flutter windows 3.192 stable directory. So let's shorten the name of this directory and let's keep it. Flutter three one nine two so that we can remember 
the version of this SDK. Now the actual flutter is within this parent directory and the files are inside this flutter directory and we have a bin directory inside this. This bin directory is very important for us and we can see this uh, is the actual path of the new SDK that we have downloaded. This path we will need uh, at many places. So let's move to the next step. Uh, now we have downloaded the SDK and the next step is to create a alias. So we will go to the C drive and in C drive we have users directory and in users we have a directory for the user of this system. So my system user is iSwitch and uh, here we will create a alias directory. And all our alias files will be inside this directory and the naming convention of this alias files will be very similar to the name naming convention that we used in the new SDK directory so let's create a file the the name of the file will be flutter 3192 but the extension will be dot bat uh, I'm not very sure if the extension I can directly give it give to the name so what I will do the easiest way to do is uh, do this thing is to open the directory inside the VS code let's go to C drive users and I should and open the alias directory aliases directory and here uh, yes I trust the author here I will create a new file 3192 dot bat so the extension will be dot bat and the next step is to add the path of the new SDK that we downloaded and archived. So the path of this So the path we have to copy and we need to paste it here. So the path is like D drive dev flutter 3192 flutter bin and we need to add few more things to this line. flutter and uh, for wildcard we will use percentage and uh, star so even if you don't understand the meaning of this wildcard that's fine but we have to use this wildcard for our alias to work and if you want you can use this echo before this line so that uh, when we fire the commands there is not much of the messages unwanted messages so we will make this echo off and that's it for the alias file and the next step is to open the environment variable
system environment variable and go to the environment variable and here we need to go to user variables path so we need to open the path and we need to edit the path and here if you see that we have one flutter path already here one npm path is here we need to add a new path the new path will be of the alias so the path for alias is again we can copy the we can copy this so that there is no typo and that's it our new path is here our alias path is here and now we can just click on ok and ok and our new path is in place and uh, now most of the steps are done and we can go ahead and check the new flutter uh, setup that we have done so let's open the command prompt and let's try the new flutter that we have just installed new flutter version so a new flutter version is flutter 3192 so we will use the command instead of flutter we will use and let's see what we get So here you can see that flutter 3192 is working for us and the dart version is 3.30 if we want to use the previous version let's fire the command the normal flutter version command and here you can see that we have flutter 3.16 and uh, dart 3.2.1 so both the flutter versions are working on same system same process we can use to to set up different flutter versions and uh, all flutter versions will work side by side without any clashes only thing is that you have to clear the pub cache uh, before using a version a new version uh, and uh, things will work normally if you want to use this in uh, vs code then you can go ahead and just open a terminal and here you can fire the command and it says that the term flutter zionite is not recognized maybe because we need to reopen this vs code terminal I mean the complete VS code we need to reopen let's try it once again and this time it worked so here you can see the flutter 3.192 is working in VS code as well you might have to follow some more steps to uh, for uh, for completion of the setup of the new SDK uh, maybe a flutter doctor and other steps but apart from that I think this is the basic step that is needed to make things work 
make different SDK works on same system. I hope you found this video informative and if you do please give it give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet and uh, there are other process like FVM but I really didn't like that process because you need to have different dependencies in your system for using FVM it's not very suitable for Windows maybe it's suitable for Mac and Linux so I found this uh, process the best one and this is the reason I am sharing this with everyone and thank you guys for watching this video stay tuned and bye bye